Episode 5! What's going on? What's going on? That's not good. That's really not good. It's a wolf man. What? What is going on? He's got wolves. Let's get a closer look. Uh huh. <clears throat> Let's uh not not uh <clears throat> die. Those wolves are spooky. <clears throat> Very spooky. Is there anything else I can do over here? I don't think there is, but we're going to find out. Should have tried the door. Damn it. Somebody civilized must have built that building because it's on brick. Why does he lower his lantern if I let go of R? What? What am I doing wrong? Here we go. What's this one? That was gross. I didn't need to see that. Ew. Let's get on that thing in GTFO. I think Mike has muscles <clears throat> because he's using them. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Big old hole in the ceiling. Mm hmm. He 
Yeah, let's go. We made it. Uh oh. Yeah, just announce yourself. It's locked, dingo butt. Oh my god. See? The controls. Okay, let's find... something else. What's in here? Probably some books or stuff. Hey, it's safe. Oh, cool. Show me the money. I wanted to take a peek inside. Keep the clocking in cards? Or I guess not. Neat, I guess. Um, I don't like the sound of those wolves. Should I take the obvious path? Yeah. Nope. There's a mean old wolfie down there. I just know it. I'm not looking for a jump scare. Winding. Oh boy. Okay, let's do this. Oh shit. Gross. Well, okay then. That's nasty. Uh, hold on to that so you can... Aren't you cold? Aren't you cold? Oh, we have to go out there with the wolf. It's going to scare me. I just know it. That wasn't spooky at all. Hey, Mr. Skelly, man. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> that rat freaked me out. So there's a collectible over there somewhere. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. This is what he was feeling. 
feeding them? That's nasty. I'm just taking it off, man. Oh shit. 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 I think he'd be freaking out a lot more than that. I feel like he'd be freaking out a lot more than that. That was nasty. Why would you want to do that? Could have lived your whole life not knowing that that was a thing you see. Um, what is the point of this? Okay, let's check this out. Um, one of these is going to be a jump scare. I know it. Freaking Resident Evil taught me that in the morgue. Attacked by inmate, lethal something or another? Yeah. Oh, hey! Ha! I was supposed to find that. That wolf's way faster than you, bro. Uh. Well, that wasn't spooky at all. Deucing out of here, man.
Yeah, but now you can go, you have that access card, so you can go into that one place, I believe. Yep, it was locked before. Fudge! gonna do nothing. Calm down. Calm the heck down. Uh, the stogie stash exposed. Um, ooh, hey, a chest. Is there gold to blunder if I don't get eaten by that wolf? Maybe it will. Get that dog a bone. Wolfie, Wolfie. Wolfie, Wolfie. Wolfie, Wolfie. bone. He's just staring at it all funny. Easy boy. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. Well, he doesn't hate me. That's nice. Jesus. That was terrifying. Ugh, that's not spooky at all. Where's the key? Oh, they want me to shoot the lock. Oh my god. Oh, we got another one. Another to- oh, this is a death totem. Okay. Ooh, it's a big old spooky one. That would be less than fortunate. So, Mikey boy, don't go using your lighter. You could blow everything up. Apparently. That's not spooky at all. Why do creepy people like to work in the dark? 
The dark scares me. You're saying crazy people can't be afraid of things too? Everybody's afraid of something. Everybody. I'm afraid of the dark. Heights. Drowning. Of course. Locked. What did you do? Shit. 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 Wait. <laughs> God, I had to die. Laughing. That's actually really funny. Seriously, uncool shit going on up here tonight. Well, that's unfortunate. Now we're playing as these guys. Dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but. Some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take your word for it. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. A totem? That's less than pleasant. Start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. Mm. You can easily uh, fit in there. What is she talking about? She won't fit. Here goes. Maybe my thickness won't make it through, oh, but it. either one of them would make it through. Uh, Uh-huh. Oh my god. It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here. I keep bumping into it. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Oh. Uh, anything. No, man. I think there's spiders in here. Be careful. Well, it's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dead. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. I think. Almost. Ugh. Sorry. Emily is kind of a oh, well, special kind of someone. For one thing. Oh. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. 
Is he? We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Wait, don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, and, but not that good. Flattered, though. No. Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Ranger path, satellite, cable car. Sane tutorial. Did a number on this joint. Such a mess. Hey, look, this place was barely in working tower. condition before, and now? Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Maybe not. Good lord. I don't like this Emily chick. I really, 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 really don't like her. I don't know if they created her for me not to like her, but... There's what gotta was... be something we can do. I'm all ears. Look at all this crap. There's got to be something useful in here, right? Very friendly. Oh, great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Um... Probably, yeah. Matt, we've got to get to that radio! We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. What's behind oh, that door? Hold up. What's cooking? Good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Why is he jogging in place is my question. on those rocks. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli. Thank God that's over. Yeah, Did she say holy cannoli? Really? Ugh. Plane? Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. Oh, it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. Maybe. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Totem time.
Was that good fortune or bad fortune? supposed to go. Well, she's naked in the bath. This is the first naked person we see. That's not spooky at all. She's the only one to get her clothes off in the whole game. Interesting. have this moment guys interesting okay I'm done Chris Josh what the hell oh this is gonna be so fun I'm gonna get chased I know it Why does that scare me? Go punch the clock. Jesus. Chris? Mike? Emily? Can I have my clothes back now or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel it is then. Oh man, we're following balloons that are leading us straight to the killer. This is a cutscene. Oh shit. The hell are you guys? They should have all stayed in the one cabin. <laughs> Freaked her out. Hello, Samantha. What? Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful. Isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you, you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? 
I want to know what's going on. Josh! I just want to make sure. Seconds. Nine. I'm running the fudge out of there. Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go. There's no way I'm hiding. Well, that was scary. This is a whole bunch of quick button things, I'm betting you. Square X, square X, circle triangle, come on. I'm nervous, guys. That was disrespectful, well, honestly. That certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do, and what you say, causes things to change. Good work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people. What? She's a desperate one to torment. You're weird. Has it been worth it? That was a game changer. What? <coughs> oh my god. Who is this guy? You're playing as the killer? Alright, we're going to explore that next on the next episode of Until Dawn. Until guys, thank you so much for watching. Whoa.